We will find in God enough of everything that we need for the body, for the mind, and for the soul to do what God wants us to do, as long as God wants us to do it. In 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8, it says this, God will generously provide you all you need. And then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. In 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8, you'll find an important promise that God will always provide. And it is something you can depend upon. The creator of the universe has promised to provide for all of your needs. In fact, God will not only meet your needs presently, but tomorrow's need and your needs on a daily basis ongoing. God will generously give you more than you need just to survive. God will give you enough of everything. But notice the last part of the verse. God provides for you generously so that you can share the surplus with others. God blesses you so that you can be a blessing. And this is a key to prosperity. If you hoard it to yourself, if you try to keep it, if you try to save, read the Bible on this. Even what you have will be taken away, not by a mean, vengeful God, but just by your actions of not planting a seed for more to come. There is a circulation of good, and it is spiritual to keep things in circulation. God blesses you so that you can be a blessing to those that God places on your path. Are you worried about your material needs? Don't be, because God will give you what you need. Start to move your trust over to God instead of looking to the appearance of lack. And when you do, you'll start to realize that you start to have more and more in your life on a daily basis. God will give you enough to meet your requirements each and every time. God asks you to share with others. As God shares with you more and more, and God will, you share with others more and more. And when you do, you're going to become a spiritual partner with God for God's work in the world. And God will bless you, not just for today, but every day of your life. It is a joy to live life in this way. There are two ways to live life. There is the lack way, always wanting way, or there is the satisfied enough way. And I prefer the latter, and I pray that you do too.